Kata is like practicing your knife skills. It is important, but it's not the real deal. Hello everyone, I'm Tim, and today I want to talk to you about Gichin Funakoshi's 18th precept. Do the Kata correctly, the real fight is a different matter. Now for those who don't know, Kata is a prearranged sequence of movements in karate. Think of it as a dance routine, but with punches and kicks, even though true karate should not be considered mere dancing or performing. And while Kata is an important part of karate training, it's not the be all and end all. Let me start by saying this. Kata is like a map, it's not territory. It is a tool to help us understand and practice the principles of karate, but just like a map, it's not the real thing. The real thing is sparring, or God forbid, a real fight. And that's what Funakoshi is getting at with this precept. Now I know what you might be thinking, but Tim, I'm not a karate fighter. I'm not going to get into a real fight. Why should I care about this precept? Well, my friends, that is where the beauty of Funakoshi's words come in. Because the principle of do the kata correctly, the real fight is a different matter, applies to more than just karate. Think about it. In life, we're constantly preparing for the unknown. We go to school to learn math and science, but we don't know when or if we'll ever use it in the real world. We practice our public speaking skills, but we don't know if or when we'll have to give the speech. And just like Kata, these are all tools to help us understand and navigate the world. But as Funakoshi reminds us, the real fight, the real world, is different. Let me give you an example. A farmer spends years studying crop rotation, soil management, and weather patterns. He knows all the ins and outs of farming, but one day a drought hits and all his knowledge is useless. He's got to adapt and come up with new solutions on the fly. Just like the farmer, we have to be able to adapt and respond to the ever-changing situations in life. Ian Abernethy has also spoken about the importance of understanding the distinction between kata and actual combat. He emphasizes that while kata is an important tool for developing technique and understanding principles, it is not a replacement for sparring or real-life self-defense scenarios. But for those who don't know, let me explain it in layman's terms. Imagine you're a chef and you spend hours upon hours practicing and perfecting your knife skills. But when it comes time to actually cook a meal for a customer, you realize you have no idea how to handle the heat of a real kitchen. Kata is like practicing your knife skills. It is important but it's not the real deal. This principle can also be applied to everyday life. We all have certain tasks and responsibilities that we practice and perfect, but when it comes to the real world situations, things can be vastly different. It's like learning to drive on a racetrack versus navigating the chaotic streets of a city. The rules and conditions are different. There's an old parable that illustrates this point. A young farmer asked his wise old mentor, how can I become a great farmer? The mentor replied, spend half of your days in the fields, learning the land and the crops, but spend the other half of your day in the market, learning the value and the needs of your customers. The young farmer thought about this for a moment and then asked, but what if I spend all my day in the market? Will I become a great farmer? The mentor replied, no, you'll become a great salesman, but not a great farmer. In conclusion, Gichin Funakoshi's 18th precept do the kata correctly, the real fight is a different matter, serves as a reminder that while practicing and perfecting a skill is important, it's not a replacement for the real deal. Whether it's karate, cooking or driving, we must always remember to adapt and respond accordingly to the ever-changing conditions of the real world. So there you have it folks. The power of mastering the basics and understanding the difference between kata and real life situations. Remember, practice may not make perfect, but it sure as hell makes better. If you like what you see here and you wanna see more, click right here to see more. For now, let me wish you a wonderful day and as always, thanks for watching. Chuck Norris doesn't do kata, kata does Chuck Norris.